this is Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art, and today I'm going to be making this really cute Hog Heaven Pig Shaker card. <laughs> it's so sweet, I just love it, and it's got those beads in it to make that nice shakery sound. All right, so let's get started with the shaker portion. Um, the shaker is made from these dies from Poppy Stamps, and they are really cool. There's a lot of sizes to use down to this little bit of cute one that would make a really sweet tag. I am using these two to make um, the shaker card. And you would need, let's see, here's all the pieces that you need. You need a back piece for the background with the clouds. You need two that will make the body of the shaker card. And then a I don't know if you can even see that, a um, craft sheet, a clear craft sheet um, one, and then the top frame. I um, Just to make those frames, I just nested the one inside the other and be sure to tape them together and to make all of your frames at the same time so that they'll be the same, same size. Because once you take that out, and put it back in, it may not be quite in the same place as it was before, so cut them all at one time. That is an important tip, <laughs> ask me, I know. All right, so once you have all those pieces, you're ready to start on the background portion of the tag. So to do that, I um, used another die cut. This is actually a, another frame and it's from um, Pretty Pink Posh and this is a really cute frame also. But it happens to make really cool clouds as well. So I'm going to use this die cut as a guide and I'm also using um, tumbled glass, distress ink, and this applicator. So let me get this all pushed out of the way and get this settled in. Alright, so I'm just going to Place this die where I kind of want a cloud. That looks good to me. And they'll all be slightly different every time I do it. Um, probably be a good idea to have some kind of a, let me get just this piece of paper here to put underneath. That way I won't get ink everywhere. So I'm going to kind of slide out and in. All right. So just start applying from the outside toward the die cut and then you can just kind of swirl it around get some more as you need it take just a minute to get enough layers on and then you'll start seeing that really cool cloud shape and then you're just going to continue let's just continue here to move the die cut around and to get some more clouds. Just each time moving down the page and kind of changing the direction and um, what you're actually, you know, which part of the die you're using. And that way you'll get some clouds that don't, you don't want them all to look exactly the same. And you also don't want them to be the same width apart either. So just keep applying that ink. And if it's not dark enough, just do, get more ink and do it again. It's kind of nice though to have um, some dark, some light. So just keep working that ink in. There we go. I really like it. It's so pretty. Okay, I'll put one there and just keep working that ink in. Okay, let's finish this up and then we'll move on. Now that I have my clouds done, I am ready to move on and I'm going to put in the fence at the bottom. So for the fence, I stamped the fence actually twice because one is not quite enough to um, cover completely the bottom of the tag. So I'm going to use a complete fence and then a piece on each side. So um, I used some E 
11, 31, and 35 on the fence. And I'll go ahead and color these last two here just to show you real quickly how I did that. I started with some E31. Just going to put some in here. I'm starting where the shadow would be. Coming back in with some E35. All right, so we're laying in the E35. And now let's try some E11. Kind of swirling that out just a little bit. And then I'm going to finish back off with some E31 again. Just kind of give that a last little coat here. Okay, also on the fence, I'm using this silver uniball to color in this kind of metally looking portion of the fence. I love this pen. It is so cool. All right, and then the last thing on that fence is just to go in and add back in the little dots along the fence there with a, let's see, this is a Prismacolor. Once you've got them colored, you're ready to use the dies to cut them out. And I can't remember if I already showed this or not, but here's the stamp set from MFT Stamps called um, Hog Heaven. It's got a lot of little piggies and a lot of um, cute uh, sentiments. Also comes with its set of dies, so that's really cool. All right, so um, I've already cut one of the fences out and have even already added one little fence post to this end. So how I did that is I just cut off the white edge that's showing. Let's just get that cut off here. And I'm leaving the little silver edges there because that's what I'm actually going to glue to. It's kind of small, so I need those. All right, then I'm going to cut this one off. Now, on the outside edge, I'll just go ahead and leave that white. Um, I'm going to need to cut them off to match the tag anyway. And then I'm just going to cut right by the mark of that first little post there. And I don't really want any white showing there. And there's just a little bit right there. So I'm going to cut that off if I can. Okay. And then just put a little bit of glue here on the rails and glue this little piece to it. So that way I've made my, my fence just a little bit longer. To fit the tag. All right, so let's put the fence on the tag. All right. Well, I forgot I really don't need to cut off any of the edges. The edges are going to be covered by the um, frame. So, no, we're just going to glue this right on. Okay, I may want to, let's see. Cut some off the bottom, however. Let's see where that's gonna go about there. Yeah, so I'm going to put it a little bit lower and cut some of this off the bottom. All right, I'm just gonna turn it over and trim that off. All right, now it matches my tag. All right, so the background is done. The next thing to do is to add the um, frames 
and I've got a set of two here. Let's see, where are they? Right here. Set of two that are already glued together, and I've already put some of the ThermaWeb tape on top that's going to hold the clear craft sheet in place. So let's go ahead and get that tape off. Okay, now I've wrestled the tape off. <laughs> and let's glue that to the background. You really want to get that tape off before you add your sequins or, um, in this case, the seed beads because pulling that tape off can sling those sequins and seed beads all over the place. Ask me how I know that. Got a little place right here that the red tape didn't stick to. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Let's get that done before we move any further because we sure don't want any seed beads flying out when somebody shakes the card. And you want to be sure and put that tape close to the edge of the opening of the frame. And that way the seed beads won't slip underneath either and get lost onto the frame. All right, now we've got some tape there. All right, so let's put some of these pretty little seed beads in there. We've got some pink and cream. And um, these were amazingly in the uh, Michaels dollar bins. And there are a bunch of beads in here. So I thought that was pretty cool. And just put in quite a few, as many as you want. And I just probably did a pretty even mix of cream and pink. Okay. Now I'm ready to take the clear craft sheet and put it on top of the shaker. frame to it. I've got it covered with red tape as well. So let's get that off. Well, we've got a pretty cute shaker. That's fun. Love it. Okay. Now we're ready for that sweet little piggy. All right, so the little piggy is stamped on cryogen white with um, rosy cheeks from Simon Says Stamp. And then I started with, let's see, some EOO. Just a little bit here in the ears and around the face. And in the shadow spots. Come back in with some E and four zeros. And some YROO just along the edges there in the ears. 
Again, hitting those shadow spots. And back over with the E0000. Okay, and let's hit that with a little bit of E21. Here in the shadow spots again. Okay, and one more time with the E0000. Alright, let's do start some little cheeks with some ROO. A little bit of R20. A little bit more ROO. Okay, let's uh, use that Prismacolor pen to do the eyes. Now we're ready for the nose. I'm going to use just a little bit of that YROO and give it a little bit of shade there on top of the nose. Come in with some ROO. I'm trying to leave those nostrils open. I think I kind of covered up one. Okay, and then. Um, Let's do a little touch of R22, kind of right along the top there. And let's pull that out again with some ROO. And some R20. For his little wing, let's do some RVOO. And tone that down a little bit with the ROO. And one last swipe of the EOOOO. -O 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 -O. <laughs> and that is our little. Piggy, he's so cute. He's ready to cut out with the dies. Okay. He'll go right on top of the shaker above the fence, ready to fly. So let's take a look at the finished card here. Okay, I stamped, um, thank you, I'm in hog heaven down at the bottom from the stamp set. And the little flower is also from the, from the same stamp set. Wrapped it up with some pink gingham. Closes up on the other side. Wrapped some twine around it. This is one of those doilies that I absolutely love from MFT Stamps. The dies cut one in half, and I don't know if you can tell or not that that's doubled up. It looks really cool. All right, so this is the I'm in Hog Heaven shaker card. Thank you for joining me. Oh, before I go, I want to mention, if you want an easy uh, little pig card, this one is called I'm Tickled Pink, and it's a download from my blog, and I'll have that linked as well. So this is just a quick little thing when you don't have time to do something like this. All right, so you can always find me at shushupaperart.com.